everybody, welcome back to Sunflower Cottage Crochet. This is Sarah, and today's tutorial is the Tunisian double crochet stitch. So I have two hooks here. I have my long Tunisian hook in six millimeter, and then I have my a regular six millimeter hook here. So to work the Tunisian double crochet stitch, you're going to after you do your uh, foundation row, which of course we'll do together, you're going to need to yarn over, insert the hook into the front bar like you would a Tunisian simple stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. So you're starting your double, but then you don't finish. Tunisian is a lot of start but don't finish until you do your return row. So it makes sense that you would start a double like you would normally start a double, but then not finish until you come back through. So. It does create a nice fabric. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the foundation chain, which is any number. There is no multiple for this. So I'm just gonna go until I have as many as I think I want. Not even gonna count. That seems good enough for me. All right, so now I'm going to put that hook aside. I just do that for the chain up because I'm happy. And you're going to hear it hit every now and then. <laughs> so to work the Tunisian foundation row, we have to basically work a Tunisian simple stitch. So what we're going to do is gather up loops along the chain and then work them back off on the return pass, which is a normal or regular return pass. So in order to do that, you just insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. I like to grab the back humps, so I'm going to turn my chain over and do that. So I'm just going to go under each loop along the chain and pull up loops as I go. I forgot this yarn has a knot right there in it. Fun. Alright, I have gathered all but one last loop. It's always the most fun to get. Just wanted you to watch me struggle as I try to get this one on there. I know all of you are going to be doing the same thing. Well, if you use the back loops, that seems to be a characteristic of a back loop. Wow. All right, I'm going to redo that. <laughs> okay, I've gathered all but my final loop, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's always the most painful when you're doing back loop or back hump. There we go. I got you. Okay, so now we have all of our loops gathered, and we're going to do a regular return which includes working our left edge stitch, which I explain in so much more detail in the introductory video. I highly recommend you go watch that if you haven't. So to work that, you just chain one. So we're going to yarn over and pull through one like you chain. And a regular return pass is to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time all the way down until you only have one loop left on your hook. like that. To work the Tunisian double crochet stitch or TDCS, we need to begin with a chain one and normally we don't do that in Tunisian but because this is a taller stitch we do need to get the height. So this is one of those rare cases where we're going to chain one first. And then we're going to crochet a row of TDCS, Tunisian double crochet stitch and end with an extended edge stitch. So I'll have to show you that too, because we do need to get the size up, okay? So in order to do that, we just need to yarn over and you insert into this next bar, never into this first one, and pull up a loop. And then you yarn over and pull through two so again, we started a double, but we're not finishing it because in normal crochet, you would just finish. So we're going to yarn over and go into our next smashed vertical bar here and pull up a loop. And then you yarn over and pull through two and hold it. 
fill yarn over, go under the next vertical bar, and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go under the next vertical bar, and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go under the next vertical bar, and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go under the next vertical bar, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. And I am keeping that method for every stitch all the way down until I hit my edge stitch. So just like you would normally work a double crochet, except don't finish it. Okay, so now that we have gathered up all of our partially finished double crochets, we need to work an extended edge stitch, and it's not as difficult as you're thinking. So we work our edge stitch like normal by going into both of these loops at the end, and they're just kind of on the sides. So I just like to kind of roll my stitches over onto the hook like so. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, but then I'm going to chain one already. Now that's how we would normally work a left edge, but we, not, we need to actually chain up again. So now we have, you basically chain two at the end to get up to height. So now to work the return row, we're going to yarn over and pull through two at a time. We've already worked our extended edge stitch, so we don't need to mess with chaining up one. We've already done that after we added a chain to get to the right height. So we're just gonna start yarning over and pulling through two all the way back. So now we're going to work another row and we need to chain up one again to get ourselves up to height. And then we're going to yarn over and go into this next vertical post or bar, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Start the double but don't finish. So yarn over, go into the next bar, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. I now have all of my started double crochets and I need to work my edge stitch again, my extended edge stitch. So if you recall, we had to chain up two, so I'm not going to go in down here. I need to go in up here at the top of my chain two and grab two loops. All right, and pull through. Oops. I don't know why my yarn had to split so bad there. I'm going to redo that. <clears throat> all right i have gathered up all of my beginnings of double crochets and now i'm going to work my left edge stitch now remember we chain two normally we would go in down here to put our hook and grab those two loops but we had to chain two so we need to go to the top of our chain two but we need to grab two loops when we do so I know my yarn is in the way. So just like so, at the top of that chain two, pull up a loop and chain one. That's your extended edge stitch. And now to get started, we need to chain one again. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two all the way back until there's only one loop left on the hook. And here is what your fabric is starting to look like. It's like a really tall Tunisian simple stitch, but it makes it very drapey. So keep practicing. Remember, unlike the normal Tunisian, we do need to chain up at the beginning and at the end, which is why we do that extended edge stitch. And we do not work into this, but we go into the next one. And so yarn over like you're gonna do a double, and get a double started but don't finish all the way down all right i am back to the end of this row and i need to go into the top 
of my edge stitch, left edge, extended left edge at that, and I need to, whoops, sorry, don't yarn over, Un insert into the top under two loops and pull up a loop and chain one, and that's your extended edge stitch. And then when we go to work our normal return pass, as always with the edge stitch, you chain one first, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two all the way back until there is only one loop left on the hook. And that completes that next row of Tunisian double crochet stitch. Pause the video and keep practicing and come back when you're ready to learn how to bind this off. To bind off the double crochet version of the Tunisian stitch here, we need to chain up one to get the height. And there's a dozen ways to do this. You could try to do the slip stitch um, bind off, but it creates this really, really, really long stitch there. And I didn't, it was too open. I didn't care for it. You could also just insert under the first bar and do a single crochet all the way across. Um, I found that to still be just a touch short. You can also just work a double crochet under each of those bars to get that height. But I found that it looked too different from the rest of these doubles because they're only half done and it made this look funny. So what I prefer to do is I'm going to keep that chain up one and I'm going to make a half double under each vertical bar because it kind of mimics that half done double from below and keeps the gap about the same all the way across. So I'm just going to work half doubles under each bar because I felt like that kept it the same appearance-wise or close to it. And then at the end, I'm going to work my um, extended edge stitch. So I'm going to go into the top of that chain two without yarning over. I'm going to try and grab two loops with this hook. <laughs> and pull through both basically a single crochet and a chain one. I wonder, just to see if I just did do a half double on top of that. Yep, like that better. Okay. <laughs> the cool thing about this with these kinds of um, extra stitches like these is you can kind of play with the bind off and get the look that you're after. I honestly think that the half double looks the best. If you don't do doubles, if you hate that, do a slip stitch or a single crochet bind off. But I am going to stick with the half double because I think it mimics the best on the rest of that. So anyway guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Please hit the little bell icon to be notified any time that we upload a new video. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.